What's going on everybody? This is Brian F here and today I have another quick Balrog tip. Quick tips to help you level up your Balrog gameplay. And this is the, the first video I'm doing uh, for Champion Edition Season 5 with Balrog's V Skill 2. And I'm going to be covering a, a, a quick tip to help you cover more ground, get more corner carry and pressure using your V Skill 2. If you don't know, Balrog's V-Skill 2 is uh, basically this move which powers up his next dash punch. It makes his next dash punch plus 2 on block for all of the regular non-EX versions, light, medium, and heavy. They're all plus 2. So you can see here I have the dummy pressing a 3-frame jab on block and I can counter hit Mika's 3-frame. And then EX becomes plus 4 on block. And one big thing about this is that it makes the dash punch not a charge move it does not require a charge in this powered up state so once you activate the v skill 2 you can see in the bottom of the screen the icons flashing you can actually walk around and the input for your dash straight becomes back forward punch so if you just tap back forward punch you can do it while moving forward quickly do it and uh, uh the, the big implication of this is that you can walk around and uh press buttons and play foots is like a non-charge character and buffer moves into your dash straight and be plus on block so if you hit or they block the move it doesn't matter you get a uh, frame advantage or you get a good combo option so what do i want to cover with this quick tip so this idea actually came from one mr pr balrog eduardo he uh brought this idea up to me and i think it's really powerful and i've been using it a lot in my gameplay so Balrog's Crouching Fierce is a pretty big button, and it uh, is negative five on block, but usually has enough pushback where it's safe. But what it also does is it allows you to do a block string into heavy dash straight. And this is actually really powerful, because think about this. I'm in the corner right now. If I walk up and do Crouching Fierce heavy dash straight, we just move to mid screen. And here's the next idea. I'm plus on block. I'm plus on block here. So if I'm cornered and I find an opportunity to use this button, which covers a decent amount of range, I can then push them to mid screen, use my plus frames and do another jab, DX dash straight, and suddenly we're in the, the other side of the screen. So the quick tip is use this sequence and you can push the screen very far once you have an activated V skill. And I didn't really think about this at all. This was not like my mindset when this V skill first came out. I thought more of it as an offensive tool, but this is so powerful. You can quickly push people away. Um, instead of you know using jab, dash straight from a medium button, which doesn't have much corner carry at all. You can see the difference between the, the crouching strong buffer to light dash straight versus the crouching fierce to the heavy dash straight, how much more corner carry you gather. And if you want to spend a bar on it as well, you can push even further, keep your plus frames the whole time. Suddenly we moved to the second half of the screen. So this is extremely powerful for getting corner carry and plus frames on characters. And here's why it's also amazing. Say that instead of, for some reason, they don't block the move, you clip them, you get a combo, right? Even better, you need to push them out. So safe on block plus on block to get pressure with corner carry on hit. You also get extreme corner carry and damage. And say this is, you know, this is also one of Balrog's primary crush counter attacks. What happens if you crush counter your opponent? You don't have to worry about that at all. In fact, it gives you an even stronger option in some ways. Crush counter buffer, they fly into the air. And look at that, I side swapped. But you also notice that they're in a juggle state after the crush counter fierce. You can, you can air reset them with a button here. And when they air reset, you know what that means when it's Street Fighter V. You get a dash under mix up. So even there, I expected to go under. I stayed on the same side there. And this time I went under. You can, so uh, no matter which way you apply it, you either get a block string, which pushes them very far away. You get a combo, which also push, pushes them very far away. Or you get a crush counter, which sets up this sort of mix-up opportunity where you can side swap, stay on the same side, throw them, 
and get a guaranteed mix-up from it. And uh, e even better, I was practicing this conversion. You have super, you still get a super conversion. Launch them up with the crush counter for the alley-oop. And you get major style points for landing that combo in a real match. So this technique, this mindset of, of using your V-Skill to allow you to walk around, um, push people with the heavy dash straights, and use your big buttons to occupy space and get corner carry is very, very powerful. And this is such a simple tip. And when Pierre Balrog brought up this idea and I saw him using it in a match, it's just so simple, but it's so strong. And uh, you know, it just took a little mindset switch on my part for me to realize how powerful this really is. I mean, this is a game changer. You can just be walking back and forth. You need to build some space. You can clip from very far away your opponent. And at this range, you know, you can, yeah, sure you can do a medium at this range, but you don't get, you don't get much pushback on that. But the Crouching Fierce reward is so huge. So much carry, so much pressure that it is extremely strong and can set up some really flashy mix-ups. So that's all for this quick tip. Um, be sure to stick around for more to come. I plan on covering more V-Skill 2, V-Trigger 2 stuff for Season 5 with Balrog. Once again, shout out to PR Balrog for coming up with this idea. Let, let me know what you guys think about this technique in the comments below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.